Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India and welcome to the fifth class in the second lecture series on Japanese language and culture. Last week we revised some uh, basic grammar and some kanjis that we had done. So now as you know we cannot have a watertight compartment for what we have learnt and for what we are going to learn now. So while doing new things we will continue to revisit what we have done, what we have studied earlier and uh, I am sure this will help you in your uh, understanding of grammar. You will understand kanji better, you will be able to memorize it, learn it, do the stroke order and also all this going back and learning something new will help you in conversation as well. So last week we did adjectives and the various uh, forms, conjugations of adjectives. Then we also did Thai form of the verb and as you know Thai form of the verb says I want to do what the verb is saying. So now today we are going to do the Te Imas form of the verb which is equivalent to the ing or the continuous tense in English. Now there are two types of verbs action verbs and non-action verbs. Now what does that mean? Well, action verbs show action done by someone or action done by the subject. So what are the verbs over here? You have yomu, nomu, then hanasu. I am writing this specially so that you can also practice your hiragana, kaku, asobu, then oyogu, then taberu. And what are the non-action verbs? The non-action verbs express a state of being, show some state that you are actually living or are in. So what are those verbs? Sumu, motsu, then aru of course is there, iru, then skareru, su, ka, re and ru and then kom. Now sumu means to live, motsu means to have, to possess, skareru means as you already know to be tired and komu means to be crowded. All these verbs you already know. So now with the help of these words, what are we going to do? We are going to learn continuous tense in Japanese. How to say that a certain activity is happening over a period of time. For example, like I am eating, which means I am eating now. I will be eating for another 5-7 minutes and it is just a temporary action. It is an ongoing temporary action, which is equivalent to the ing form of English. So how will we say that in Japanese? We will see it now in our lesson but before that let us listen to the passage. It is a very short kaiva and most of it you will follow. So listen to the passage very carefully. Watashi no uchi no mai ni koen ga arimasu. Watashi wa mai nichi koen ni ikimasu. Koen ni takusan ki ga arimasu. I am sure you would have understood most of it. Now I will do the explanation. It is very very simple. 
私のうちの前に公園があります。に公園があります。So you have done this pattern. Place に something がある。私のうち。My house. Then 私は毎日公園に行きます。So, you can also have a over here. I have told you earlier also with me, you are showing to your listener that there is a purpose for going to the koen. Watashi wa mai nichi time expression. So, koen ni, place ni, taksan ki ga arimas. Taksan means lots. So now, as you already know, with taksan you can count the number of things. You can measure the number of things. So, koen ni taksan ki ga arimas. It's a counting. Now, ki no shita de, ki no shita de kodomo tachi ga itsumo asonde imas. Itsumo is always. And ki no shita de, you have already done post positions. So, In relation to something. So, ki no shita under the tree. De because an action is happening. Kodomo tachi ga itsumo asonde imas. It's a fact that they are always playing over there. Thus, particle ga. This is easy to understand. That's why we are using this explanation that ga will be used as you know for a Watashi mo toki doki minna to isho ni sunaba de asobi mas. Watashi mo also. Because children are playing and that has been mentioned. Thus, watashi mo also sometimes. Toki doki. Minna to isho ni together with. Sunaba is sand pit de asobi mas because of action. So, Place the action and place ni existence. So over here arimas, which is arimas and imas. Arimas for non living, imas for living. Now this is in Japanese for you. You can go over it. You will be able to recognize some kanjis, some you may not. Read the hiragana part, and we will cover these kanjis in some lessons later. So, now let us see how the te form is made for all the three verb groups. You have group 1 where the verbs are in u ending or are you ending. So, remove the u and are you from the verb in their dictionary form. Or base form and put TTE, that is the double sound. Te, verb plus te. Now for group 2, verbs ending in ERU and IRU, ERU and IRU in their dictionary form again, or the base form, remove. This part, the ru part, and put just te, a single sound, just te, not the double sound. Now, for group 3, you have two verbs only, which is kuru and suru. Now, they are in group 3 for a reason because they follow a pattern of their own, they do not follow a single pattern. So, thus, Kuru is kite in te form and suru is shite in te form. These are exceptions over here. Now, I would like to tell you that verb in te form itself has no meaning. By this, I mean that it does not say or show anything, it is just a form and cannot have or give any meaning itself. Only after adding imas to it, it becomes continuous tense, or you can understand what it is saying, what the verb 
means don't end it at te only. Imas has to be added. Now let us see in detail how we can make the te form for the verbs in the three groups. So you have group 1 and I just told you that the general pattern followed by group 1 to make te form is tte, verb plus tte that is the double sound. Now I have given this also over here that means that these also are used but we will do this in the next slide. Now these are the irregular verbs and I am sure now you can make out why I said the next slide because these te form endings are to be used for the irregular verbs of group 1. We will do it in detail in the next slide. Let us first see the verbs of group 1. All verbs ending in ru and u you can see gambaru to work hard. Suvaru to sit, Savaru to touch, Skuru to make, Agaru to go up, step up and Harau you can see it is in U ending which means to pay. So now how will we make the te form? Gambatte, I will write it also, Gambatte, Suvatte. Savatte, skutte, agatte, and haratte. So, you can see very clearly this ru is changing to this part over here for all the ru ending verbs. Now, we have the exceptions. You can see. All verbs ending in ku, you can see over here, gu, bu, tsu, mu, nu, su and two vowels. They are all in the exceptions category and obviously as they are in the exceptions category, they will follow a different te form ending. So now for kaku, let us see, kaku is kaite. Isogu which means to hurry is isoide which is over here isoide. Then you have tobu which means to fly, to unde you can see it is here. Then matsu which is to wait it is matte the normal te form which you can see over here. But why is it in the category of exceptions because somewhere in the conjugations, it will not follow the pattern which is supposed to be followed by the group 1 verbs. So, thus it has been put over here. Now, we have nomu which is to drink and no nde which is again nde over here, shinu which is to die, again it has nde and hanasu which has shite. You can see over here, shite and au, two verbs will also take t, t, e. For example, kau can also be over here, varau. So, varate and katte. Two vowels in the verb and this is the ending that you will get. So, everything is very clear and you can make the te form very easily now. Group 2 te form is very simple. You just need to remove the ru from here, the ru of the verb and you just have to put te. So, miru means see to see, neru is to sleep, taberu you already know and okiru is to get up, to wake up. So, mite Mite, nete, ta mete and o ki te. This ru gets changed to t e te. Now you have group 
3 and group 3 has a pattern of its own. So, kite and shite in te form. Now, I'll just write everything for you once over here. Suwatte, suwatte, tabete in group 2, suwaru, suwatte, taberu, tabete, then kuru, kite, suru, shite and exceptions you can have kaku for group 1 which is ka i te nomu okay no m te so hanasu hana shite so you have all these written over here you can go over it the ones that are left you can write on your own and revise. Now, I have this written for you for your convenience. Kodomo tachi wa ima sunaba de asonde imasu. They are playing now. Asonde imasu. So, verb in te form plus imasu. So, te itself will not do anything. Only after you add imasu to it, then the meaning is going to come. So, kodomo tachi wa ima. Now, sunaba de, sunaba is sandpit de asonde imas. This is the sentence that you have in your passage. So, asonde imas, positive, asonde imasen, negative. Past, asonde imashita and past negative, asonde imasen, deshita. Don't have to bother too much with this at the moment. I have written it over here. We are going to take this up later. At the moment, just concentrate on the blue part. So, asonde imas, asonde imasen, asonde imashita, and asonde imasen deshita. Our plane, our not plane. Verb playing and verb never playing. So you can make sentences like this as is given over here. Use different nouns, use different verbs, and try to make sentences. Ask questions and answer. You can put a car over here and ask questions, do a small kaiva with your partner. Now, I have written this here as well. Ame ga futte imas. It is raining. Ame is rain and futte imas is rain. So, I have put ga over here. Why ga specially? Because you can see that it is raining. It is a fact that is happening. So, particle ga. Now, ame ga futte imasen, it is not raining. Ame ga futte imashita, it was raining. And ame ga futte imasen deshita, it never rained. Now, this also I have put over here, which we are going to do sometime later. But this is the plain form of the verb here, imas. Why we need this is because we will be making compound sentences. We will be needing more than one verb in a sentence. Want to say a lot of things in one sentence. So, at that time, we cannot have mass form twice in a sentence. So, we will be needing this plain form of the verb. When we do that, then we are going to come back here and learn this. Now, there is some practice for you. Kore wa nan desu ka? Kyoshitsu desu yo ne? Dakara sensei wa nani o shite imasu ka? Sensei wa ima oshiete imasu. Kodomo tachi wa ima benkyo shite imasu. 
何を勉強していますか日本語を勉強しています。So let us see what it is. 勉強すると study. So 学生は何をしていますか学生は勉強をしています。生徒は勉強しています。生徒 is pupils. 先生は教えています。皆さんは先生のことを聞いています。You can use different words and practice like this. Now, 田中さんは何をしていますか田中さんはね、うちの掃除をしています。田中さんは一人で掃除をしています。掃除 is cleaning up. Sweeping is soji. Mopping and cleaning is soji. Taro kun wa nani o shite imas ka? Taro kun wa soji o shite imas. Taro kun wa ima isogashi des. So you can use any of this te imas. This is group 3 over here. Now this is also group 3. Benkyo suru. Group 3. Three. In fact, it is group four. If we say benkyo o suru, then this becomes group three. If we say benkyo suru, then it becomes group four. You can use both. When you say benkyo suru, then it is a verb. But when you say benkyo o suru, then it becomes benkyo is noun and this is the verb. And o is the particle over here. That's the only difference. Meaning is exactly the Same. So, benkyo o shite i mas. Particle o is over here. And I have also put it like this so that you can see that there is no difference in the meaning basically, but there is a slight difference in grammar. Now, you have another picture over here. Kusuri o nomu. Kusuri is medicine. So, kusuri o. Nonde imas. He is having medicine. Now in Japanese it is nonde imas and not tabete imas as in English. We eat our medicine or we have our medicine. In Japanese it is always nonde imas. Tanaka san wa kusuri o nonde imas. Instead of Tanaka san, you can add any name over here. Mariko san, Tanaka san, Oka san, Watashi. Now, there is another picture of someone taking a picture of Mariko san. It could be Taro kun, it could be Tanaka san, anyone. Oto san, taking picture of Oka san. Shashin o Toru. Shashin is picture and photo, and uh, Toru is to take. Incidentally, Toru also means to snatch or to take away. Shashin o totte imas. He is taking a picture. Now, who is taking a picture? Tanaka san wa Mariko san no shashin o totte imas. Picture of shashin of Mariko san. So, Tanaka san wa Mariko san no shashin o totte imas. He is taking. The action is happening right now. Now, we can also use non action verbs. Remember, we did in the beginning two forms of verbs action and non action verbs. So, action verbs, what do they do? They show that the subject is in a state or is in a situation or is living that action, that is depending on the verb. And so far, we have shown actual action happening at that time. So, now we can also say that、uh, they form expresses the State resulting from an action. It shows being in that state or could also show location at a certain point. So, how is that done? Let us see. Tomodachi wa kekon shite imas. So, as I said, it shows that you are living a state. Now, if you say kekon shite imas, doesn't mean that the actual ceremony of the kekon, that is marriage, is continuing to happen. No, it's not that. It is a state that you are in, that you are married, or you are in that state of being married. Then, 
this one tomodachi wa okane o motte imasu motte imasu means to possess to have motsu is the verb motsu is the verb so what do you understand from here tomodachi wa okane o motte imasu he has money he possesses money it's not that he is holding something in his hand now he has money now if i say sumimasen okane o motte imasu ka and i put a ka over here then what does it mean it means that do you have money now at this point are you holding some money in your hand now do you have some money in your possession now sumimasen okane o motte imasu ka during conversation from context you can make out that i am referring to now but tomodachi wa okane o motte imasu means that he has money now look at this sentence watashi wa ima tokyo ni sunde imasu one please remember sunde imasu is going to take particle ni place ni sumu sumu is the plain form for sunde imasu now sunde imasu means living or staying so this is a state you are living that state you are there and it can also show the place as i said location your location at a certain point and that is tokyo so watashi wa ima now tokyo ni sunde imasu this is a state that you are living you are living now you are going to be living for some more time it is not a short action now can we use iku and kuru which are motion verbs which show movement in a certain direction in this form well we can but the meaning is a little different so let us see what it is now this you have done shujin wa imasen or shujin wa imas or shujin wa ikimashita now let us see in te imas form what it means shujin wa shigoto ni itte imas so itte imas if you look at it this is iku which means movement in a certain direction towards your goal so does this mean that the person is continuing to move no it doesn't mean that it means that shujin has husband has gone to work he is in office or wherever he works so his presence over there is being stated or said it is not that he is continuing to move towards his destination or shujin wa shigoto ni dekakete imas or shujin wa ima dekakete imas both will mean that he is out he has gone wherever he had to go he has left this place not that he is continuing to leave this place it's very clear from here that you can use but this shows location this shows presence at that point or place mentioned shigoto ni so shigoto is kaisha shujin wa kaisha ni itte imasu he has gone to office now there's another one here tomodachi wa uchi ni kite imasu tomodachi has come home so he is already here he is present here his existence in the house is shown uchi ni kite imasu and the moment you say uchi and kuru it means it is my house if it was for someone else then tomodachi wa sensei no otaku ni itte imasu he has gone to sensei's house because it is kuru kite imasu then it is my house and uchi which is uh, humble you could say is being used over here instead of otaku so uchi ni kite imasu he has come to my house his presence in my house is shown 
Now you have Watashi wa ishukan mai kara. Koko ni kite imasu. Again, koko is place. Ishukan mai kara. Past one week. From past one week, I have been here. Whatever the place is, it could be my house. Jikka ni kite imasu. Or Tokyo ni kite imasu. Whichever you may want to say. So, kite imasu doesn't show that he is continuing to come. It shows presence at a certain place. Now, this I have written for you so that you can see very clearly in te imasu form present and present negative. Present positive and present negative. Kite imasu, kite imasen. Kaete imasu, kaete imasen. Nonde imasu, nonde imasen. Haratte imasu, haratte imasen. Hashitte imasu, hashitte imasen. Tabete imasu, tabete imasen. Mite imasu, mite imasen. Oshiete imasu, oshiete imasen. Tsukutte imasu, tsukutte imasen. Watashi wa ima minasan to hanashite imasu. Watashi wa ima nihongo o oshiete imasu. Minasan wa ima nihongo o naratte imasu. Minasan wa watashi no koto o kiite imasu. So, this is a long sound kiite imasu. Kiite imasu. And rest is all double. So, put the tte. Haratte imas, double sound. Skutte imas. Practice this and it will help you in conversation. Now, I had said that we are going to do some similar looking kanjis which will make it easy for you to memorize. So, well, the first one we have is mori, which is very simple. Ki, ki and ki which means it's a big forest. So, mori means a big forest and hayashi, two keys over here, will make it a small forest. This is hayashi, hayashi. Then you have done this a number of times, but still we get confused because we don't look at these kanjis very often. We are doing it in a non-Japanese environment. So, we need to do it again and again. And this is dai. Dai. Which is o o ki. O o ki. And the basic meaning of this character is o ki. It's used in daigaku. We did it. Last time in lesson 4. Then this is hito. You all know. Very, very simple. Hito. Hito. Jin. And ni. Now one more for you. Onna no hito. O -n -na. And you can make this word over here. Onna no hito. Then this kanji we did last time. This is kodomo no ko. So with onna no hito, you can put this character over here and it makes it into suki, which is like. Su and ki. Suki. Okasan wa kodomo ga dai suki desu kara. Issho ni shite suki ni narimasu. So, with this, I would like to end the class right here. Koko made ni shimasho. There's a lot of things that you have done today. We have done the te imas form. There is still more left in te imas which we will do sometime later and in our next class 
we'll do some kanjis we'll do more of te form and learn how it's going to help in conversation now please digest this go home make some sentences practice with your partner and come prepared for your next class till then arigatou gozaimasu